Hi, this is Bill Kalterman, and this demo on mail merge is from my Word 2010 training course. Let's go ahead now and let's take a look at filtering. And yes, this is the same window that we were able to get when we clicked on sort. It just has two different tabs. All right, now we want to filter by these different fields. And when we say filtering, what we're doing is we're going to filter out the names we don't want to see, the people we don't want to send this letter to. We start by selecting the first field. And let's do the same thing because that's going to go ahead and work really well for us. Let's say we want to filter by the state. And maybe we simply want to go ahead and send this to all of our people who live in a particular state or maybe a group of states. Let's say we're only sending this letter to people on the eastern seaboard because uh, whatever the letter has to do with only affects them. Or if you're in marketing and you're doing targeted emails or targeted mailings, you know, you're only going to send to a specific group, maybe by city, by state, by zip code even. You can get real specific. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose state. So, in the field state, where the state is equal to, and we also have not equal to, these are conditional statements, we're going to choose equal to, and let's pick a state. Let's say New York. If I choose OK, and let's move back this way, you'll see it filtered out everybody except the people in New York. All right, let's go ahead and let's filter again. Let's add on to that. So show me where the field is equal to New York and where the field city is equal to New York. So now we're only looking for people in New York City, New York. Choose OK. Wow, we didn't get anybody. How come? I know we have people in New York, but let's go ahead and let's see if we can figure out what we did wrong. We'll go to our filter. Whoops. We'll turn off, turn that filter off, and let's kind of scroll down. Aha, see? You have to be careful. Because we had the state abbreviation here, but we're not using that as the abbreviation for the city. We have to spell it out. Word doesn't know that because I want NY as my city, that's what I want. I want New York. You have to put it in exactly the way it is. Even if this was spelled incorrectly, you would have to put it in the same way. So let's try it again. City equal to... New York, there we go. Now we only have people in New York City. Let's go back to our filter again. Let's clear this. Actually, let's say we need a couple of states. So I want it where the state is equal to New York and the state is equal to, let's pick another state. How about Massachusetts? Select OK, and again, nothing. What happened? We made an error in our conditional statement. There is no field state where it is equal to NY and MA. It is over here. Our conditional statement should read, show me the field where state is equal to New York or state is equal to Massachusetts. See that? Now we have Massachusetts and New York. You have to be careful with these. You got to write these statements to say exactly what you want them to say, to have those conditions that you need. And you can also use any of these other conditional statements. All right, so we're good for now. Let's just say we want to send this to people in New York State and Massachusetts. Great, we have our recipients. We'll choose OK. And step three is done.
Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.